Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up and restore data from iTunes backup on your Windows computer for your iPhone 13 series. So that is the iPhone 13, 13 Pro, 13 Mini, and the Pro Max. Now the first thing that you need to do is backup data from your older device. Okay, so here I'm going to plug in my old iPhone 12 to the computer. And on the computer, it will ask me to download an update. I'm just going to cancel for now. I don't need to update. And you want to click on this phone icon. Once you plug in, this button will appear. So you click on that and that will show you the information of your iPhone. So here is the iPhone that is plugged in using the lightning cable. Okay, once you're in here, you want to choose this computer in the automatic backup. You choose this computer and then you click on backup now. And then it asks you, do you want to encrypt backups or don't encrypt? I'm going to not encrypt so that it will be uh, quicker to backup. Okay, so we have now uh, backup the old iPhone. So we backup everything, data, apps, contacts, photos, etc. back to iTunes. And once that is finished, we're going to plug the cable into the new iPhone 13 and we're going to restore and transfer the data over. So at the top here, there is a progress bar showing you the backup progress. We will wait for that to finish. Okay, once the backup is completed, you should see it said here, latest backup. So we're going to unplug it from an old iPhone and I'm going to plug it into the new iPhone 13. And then in here, we're going to choose a language. And then choose your region. Okay, so it says setting up language. And then set up manually, choose set up manually on the iPhone 13. And in here, actually to connect to Wi-Fi, you can do it now or later. I'm going to tap on next. And in here, it will also offer to restore from this backup. So you can choose to restore directly from iTunes or you can do it in here. In here, we will also give you the option to restore from iTunes. I'm going to put in some uh, easy password for now. So if you plug it in, you can proceed it from here or you can just continue on the on screen. Later, we, it will give you the option to restore uh, from iTunes. Okay, so you can see in the apps and data screen, it said restore from Mac or PC. If you choose that options, we can plug the phone into iTunes. Okay, and in here in the restore from this backup, you can see, if you click on the drop down, there are several backup that I have. You want to choose, make sure that you choose the right backup. So I've got the iPhone 12 Pro. If I click on that, it says last backup today at 12.13. So you want to choose that one and click on the continue button. So I'm going to click on the continue button here. I move this to the side and click on continued. And it said restore iPhone from backup. And on my phone, it said restore in progress. As you can see, and this may take some time, depending on how large is your backup. If your backup is quite big, then it would take um, maybe 10, 20 minutes, or half an hour to one hour, depending on how much data there is to be transferred to your new iPhone. And that is pretty much it. We're just going to wait for that to finish. Okay, guys, so after all the data has been transferred over from iTunes to the iPhone, the iPhone will proceed to set up applications, data, files, and other things. So just wait for a few seconds. And now it's say hello. So I'm going to put in the passcode. Okay, so we store completed. Now we tap on the continue button. And again, we need to set up Wi-Fi password. Okay, put in the Wi-Fi password and then tap on continued. 
Now I'm here in here, I'm going to skip Face ID for now and I will set up later. It will ask you to put in the password for your Apple ID. You can skip it for now and we can do that later as well. And then there are some terms that we need to go through and read. And then you can choose enable or disable location. And then, okay, then we can swipe up. And that's it. So now you can see the phone will proceed to install some apps here. So it's still, inter um, it's still installing some apps at the moment. Now there are some buttons here because I have a lot of apps on the old iPhone. So it will transfer some kind of like a shortcut over, but it's not actually downloading the apps yet. So for example, if you want to open up Adobe Lightroom, there is a download button, so if we tap on that, it will start to download the app. So I'm not sure if we have to do this manually on all of them, but it's actually now uh, downloading, or maybe maybe because I didn't put in the Apple ID password, and that's why it's not doing it automatically. So we need to sign in uh, to Apple ID and App Stores. Maybe then it can uh, download the uh, third party apps. But that's how you can restore from uh, iTunes backup for your iPhone 13, 13 Pro, Mini, and the Pro Max. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Okay, so once I have signed in with Apple ID, you can see all the apps now starting to download. So make sure that you need to sign in to your Apple ID before you can actually download the apps. Thank you for, watch, for watching this video.